Hi, I'm Andy Robinson, the landscape renovator. We're at Bob's house, um, doing Bob's weeding for him to get ready for our plantings. But, um, and Bob doesn't mind that. Not at all. Do you? No. But we have this crepe myrtle in the corner here we left. Um, we actually wanted to move it when we uh, had a chance when we started doing the planting. So what I'm gonna do is talk to you and show you how to actually go ahead and transplant this. Now there are good, there are plants that are really good to transplant. There's a lot of plants that aren't. Um, the plants that are, that are really bad are the ones that have a real stringy root system. Um, hibiscus, India hawthorn, um, podocarpus. I mean, some of the plants that you just pull out and there's like no root ball on them. The crepe myrtle is awesome to transplant. We've moved these things in the middle of the summer, 12 foot by 12 foot. Get a little foliage burn, but, uh, but comes right back. So what we're gonna do is we gotta look at the size of the tree here and we're gonna come around it about, uh, maybe about a foot out from the trunk. We're gonna go straight down. And make these cuts. You can hear the roots. The key is to go straight down. You're not pulling back on the shovel. So what we've done is made a nice ring around it. And what we're going to do is come on the outside of that now and dig that up. Make like a moat. Bob. Yeah. Do you sweat when you take uh, do filming and directing and stuff? No, because I never worked this hard. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to wet the root ball and around the bottom of the root ball. Now, what's the point of wetting it? Well, we just want to make like uh, you're at the, at the beach making a sand castle. If you try to pull your bucket of dry sand, it's just going to fall apart. So we're going to make it wet so it'll hold together. Bob, am I sweating? Nope. You need to work a little harder. Oh, wow. Okay, shut the water off, please. Thank you. Now, Bob, um, what I want to show you is that Believe it or not, people, it's hard for people to understand is that in the top 18 inches of soil is where 80% of your root system is. That's where your oxygen is and the plant needs oxygen, like I do, after digging that hole, um, to be able to take up nutrients. Water, you know, nitrogen, uh, phosphorus, potassium, and all of the minor nutrients that the plant needs to live. So um, one of the things that we're going to do is when we go through here, the top, eh, probably six, eight inches on this crepe myrtle are the most important. And as we get a little bit further down, there'll be less roots. We got our water in there, but what we're going to do now is go and start cutting the roots under the tree. You see it's getting a little bit loose. Ah. Get a little help here. Hey, can I get a wheelbarrow over here? Much like work, huh? Yeah. We're gonna go in the backyard. Is that where you want it, Bob? Bob doesn't know. We're gonna go put it where I want to put it. There you go. I think we're gonna put it in the backyard, Bob. Okay, I like that. <laughs> 